Okay, I'm going to be doing a review and a giveaway on this Kazee diagnostic tool, the Vehicle Super Probe KM10. And here you can see all of the features. It does diagnostics, um, you can measure ground testing, polarity checking, all of these really critical items when you're trying to track down something. It's got a wave meter, just super cool. Let me know if you have any questions. And like I said, I'm gonna be giving this away. It goes for about a hundred bucks, just a little under a hundred bucks on Amazon. All right, it comes in this hard plastic case, which is really nice. It's got a foam protection. And then inside you've got this uh, nice bright, you're not gonna lose this. And then here's the probe itself. Just kind of comes out of there and then goes on. Actual lead. And then we'll, it comes with an extension, There's a primary unit. That, so you can have a more accurate, um, actually, power from your, your vehicle itself into the probe unit. And that's the extension cable. Let's check it out. Okay, and here's everything it comes with. Okay, so I'm in the back of the BMW here, and I actually have access to, uh, it's easier, underneath here is the battery in the back, but I'm actually gonna go with the uh, cigarette lighter right here in this port. We'll check out the boot up sequence, and then we'll attach the probe. And for the probe, the one thing I wanna say is you gotta make sure that it's like down all the way in there, otherwise, you may think it's connected, but in fact it's not. Because you could just rest it like that and think it's in there, but you actually have to push down until you hear a firm click. You're good to go. Check out the boot up sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and this cigarette lighter, in fact, has an LED. So you can see that it's getting power. There's the boot up sequence. And there you go, and there's the LEDs. So if you're working in a dark environment, you'll be able to do that. You have uh, an LED here and an LED on that side. So you've got red positive, green or open circuit. This is if you want to apply, when you push forward, you can actually power something with that. You gotta be careful because you don't want to just go willy nilly plugging stuff in. And then this, is to apply negative ground and then here's your menu button you can pass through the different settings so the default is the DC voltage so if I click that word like right now in the DC voltage meter click it again this is for AC voltage and this also has the um, little frequency thing going on there the next menu item that's your resistance and the last menu item is diode. So there we go. Let's let's open up the panel. See what we got here. The BMW 2004 X5. All right. So these two wires here were added later. Uh, that's for the backup cameras. Okay. So now this one is the radio. Let's check the radio power out here. You can see on that side it's getting 12 volts. And if I go to the other side, it's getting 12 volts. So across these two, you have the 7.5 amp uh, in, in the fuses here. So it's 7 point amp, it, the power's flowing from this side to this side. So if this actually were out, this would show a positive number and this would not read anything, but because the circuit's complete, like that, but because the circuit's complete, it's actually showing the pass-through, so that's good. Now, I'm not clicking on any of these buttons here because if you push forward while monitoring any of these, you're gonna blow the fuses. All right, so the following's a really good example of how you could test a part. Like here you have a light bulb, and you wanna really zero in and see what's going on. So what I do is I have the, um, the alligator clip here connected from this unit, right? You can see that to the light bulb. And then I have the probe here. And so 
if I just touch this, you can see we have a green. So the circuit's complete, but there's no power, right? The moment I push forward, that will, that will add power to the completed circuit and that will light up the bulb. See that? And it also reads on there how much volts is going through. Nine volts completes that. So there you can test, not only can test, okay, there's a completed circuit and it shows you the color graph, but also you can click forward and add power. It's really handy when you wanna go in there and zero in on uh, particular parts and you can do that with anything. You do have to be careful and know what you're doing. Cause like I said, you can end up blowing fuses if you push forward on the device and don't know exactly which one you're on. Um, just be really careful. But it's really cool, like if you have an uh, engine fan or something like that, you can apply um, electrical power to it. It comes in really handy when you're trying to diagnose how far back. So you work from the part, confirm the part works all the way back. And with this really long cord, like this is just, this isn't even the extension, that's the extension. So you've got a good 20 feet. You can work the car and you can go straight up from the battery or cigarette lighter. It's really, uh, just comes in handy. So I uh, really like the unit. And remember, I'm giving this one away. So like and subscribe it, and I will pick someone in a couple of weeks, and you'll get your own. Thank you.